One of the, if not the number one most consistent requests I get here on the channel is to do a video where I just shoot everything. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have joined a server on Revontuli Coast that is virtually untouched. There's only a couple zones here. And so I figured this would be the perfect candidate for a, a shoot everything type of video. So we're going to shoot every single animal we come in contact with, regardless of size or whether it's a male or female or what species it is. We're just going to blast it and we're going to do it shotgun style. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Well, there we go. We've got a Capricali in front as well as a little uh, mountain hare. We're going to try and get close and take them down with the birdshot if possible and uh, just see if we can get something on the ground. There also is some moose in the distance, but I doubt we will get close enough to uh, take down one of those. But if we do, it'll definitely be going down as well. But uh, this seems to be our first little uh, kill of the day, a little Capricali. And just like that, we got it down. Now again, we're just going to be shooting whatever we come across since you guys have been wanting me to do that for so long. I figured it was time that we do it. And this guy right here is going to be the first thing that we have taken down today. Little uh, brown plumage type Western Capricali. Well, we got ourselves this moose out here at about 150 to 200. Let's drop a shot into him if possible. No, we missed completely. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I did kind of rush the shot. Let's see what was that 188. So. I can see why it missed. That's a black grouse. If we can get close enough, we'll take it down. Well, there we go. We got some hazel grouse. Let's see if we can get any of them. It's not really looking like it. Or actually, they might be flying towards us. I can't quite tell. No, they definitely are not. Well, it was worth a shot, but those little dudes are getting away. You know, the further we get into this video, the more I'm seeing that shotguns was an awful idea for uh, this type of a hunt. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. It's way too late now. All we can really do is uh, adapt to our choices and figure out what we can make work. Yeah, I'm really starting to regret choosing uh, shotguns for this video because this is only the second kill that we have managed to get. And, uh, of course, it is on a white-tailed deer, which we have killed tons of on the channel that's a little unfortunate I was hoping we could get a bunch of birds down but like the way the spooking mechanics work with them in this game just does not really give us many opportunities to take them down in uh, this type of a hunting style because they they just flee away the second you get even close to them now let's uh get the buckshot equipped and we're gonna go get that links if we can let's grab this real quickly just grab that and then see if we can catch up to this little guy. There we go. That might have killed it. I think that's going to kill it even if it wasn't vitals. And uh, from what I can see, I don't think we got vitals. So we're just going to have to hope that it dies anyway. And that little dude is actually flying towards us. You know, this might actually work into our favor. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. There we go. We got it down. Amazing. Oh my gosh. And there's another one. There we go. We actually got a couple of birds down. There's the lynx. We actually did end up killing it. So even though we didn't get vitals, the buckshot was enough to take it down. So I think now what we're going to do is kind of cut down like a little bit southeast-ish and see if we can run into any birds down here. I think this is an area where there's a lot of grouse, if I'm not mistaken, so that would be nice to run into. Another one on the ground. Unfortunately, no male so far. It's just been a bunch of uh, female grouse, but I suppose at least we're still getting some down. I hear another. There it is. Took two shots that time, but we did get it down. And there's a male over there. We're going to run in that direction and see if we can get it. Definitely think that we can. There we go. Another female. I definitely hear more to the right as well. But I can't figure out where they are. Oh, and also, Hunt Club is live once again. I believe it is going to be live until Friday of this week of the uh, week of this video being uploaded. So uh, take advantage of those while they're available. If you guys didn't know, I forgot to mention it in the first video because even I didn't know, but Hunt Club is only back temporarily. They're running tests to see if it's working properly, and then eventually they probably will 
fully implemented back into the game, but for now they're just doing some tests to see how everything runs and to make sure that everything is looking good. So take advantage of those while, they, while they're available, and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Let's go ahead and claim all of that money. There we go. Oh, this little guy made a mistake. He just stopped before I got to him. This is uh, going to end poorly for him, provided we can get close enough in time. There we go. Well, we hit him. I don't know if he's going to die, but that was a hit. Well, there we go. So that is a black grouse. I believe we can shoot those on the ground, so let's just blast that thing. There's at least a couple more over in this area, so let's just quickly zoom by and grab that one. Reload one more shell into the shotgun and see what else is in this area. We definitely heard a male, but I haven't seen him yet, so if we can get him down. That would be amazing. Here we go, Capper Cowley on the ground. That is the first male Capricali of the day. That is amazing. Finally got something a little bit better. It's been a lot of just smoking whatever females we could run across. And that right there is actually a pretty uh, nice thing to see. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that, that's a big rabbit. That, that's a really big rabbit. So I actually might break the uh, shotgun only part of this video real quickly because uh, that is something you don't see every day. Oh my gosh, we got it. Okay, so we, we got to go see what this is. This has a chance of being a diamond level two. I haven't seen this weight estimate of mountain hair in, well, pretty much ever since the first month of Rev on Tuli Coast's release. So this is pretty exciting to see. Just please be a diamond. Ah, it's not a diamond, but that is still a big mountain hair. I mean, that that's a pretty nice moose right there. I might have to take that guy down. That is a beauty. Okay, so he's like 113 away. We could totally zero for 100 and then kind of push up on him. We did it. We got the hard shot. Oh my gosh. That guy's actually massive. That very well could be a diamond level four. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is a diamond rack, but I could be wrong. It also might be a 260s rack, but it looks pretty big from that angle. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a big moose, but I don't think that's diamond. No, I don't, I don't think this is. This is a either 250s or 260s rack, but still nice. 252. Definitely our best kill of the day and a perfect little hard shot with the 12 gauge. Wait, here we go. We can totally get this golden eye. I mean, we hit it. I don't know if it's going to die, though. I don't know if that's going to kill it. But we definitely got a hit into it. That is a max weight estimate Lynx track. I, I think we're going to chase down uh, this guy and kind of shoot whatever we can along the way. This very well could be a monster of a Lynx. Well, unfortunately, it is a mythical, but that does not uh, matter too much because we're going to take it down anyway. Let's uh, try to get a shot on it and blast it with Buckshot. I don't know if that's going to do it, but I, I think it should. Oh, there he is. And there he goes. We got him down. Well, I guess you could say we kind of butchered it, but uh, yeah, ethical kill. Definitely ethical kill. Hey there. If you guys are still watching the video at this point, then you've probably been enjoying it a decent bit. And if you're not subscribed, uh, consider doing so. And uh, Hunter agrees with me. Let's look at that face. That That is a face of agreement. Now let's get back to everything. Well, we moved down into the south, and the first thing that we are greeted by is a raccoon dog. Though I think that guy's probably going to get away. We will try to stop him from doing so. Yeah, just as I expected, that's not going to work out. You know, I can never get over how amazing the ptarmigan calls sound like they they are probably one of the nicer calls in the game i have no idea if any of those are going to hit we're just gonna have to hope that one of the pellets nicked him but it, it doesn't look that way wait no we did 
We got it. Did it die? It, it definitely did. Okay, we actually ended up connecting that shot, which is amazing. I also heard some more off in this distance. Uh, this little guy is a molting male, just a silver, unfortunately, but still our first ptarmigan of the day. Well, there's a little raccoon dog. Let's get some buckshot into him if we can. I don't know if that is going to uh, hit vitals at all. I don't believe so, but it, it should at the minimum take him down. Yeah, he'll definitely go down, and now he for sure will. There's our little level 7 raccoon dog. I believe black white is not a rare of any kind, so I don't think this is anything special if I'm not mistaken. I believe uh, the rares are quite noticeable except for one of them which is some type of brownish color. If I remember the name, I'll probably put it on screen. If not, then somebody in the comments will definitely uh, remember it. Oh my gosh, no way! That's a piebald raccoon dog track! It's a very low weight one. We might be able to actually just take it down with the slug. Oh my gosh. Okay, right, we gotta figure out where this thing ran. And since it's a low level, I'm just gonna blast it with the slugs the second we see it. That is the last thing I expected to find. You know, sometimes it pays off to run around in a multiplayer server for an hour and just hope you run into something. That is absolutely insane. We gotta blast this thing. The second we get eyes on it, I've never seen a rare raccoon dog, so this is actually a pretty big moment. Let's hope that we can figure out where it went off to. There it is. That's it right there. We got it. It's down. Oh my gosh. Level 5 piebald raccoon dog. Now, they do go to level 9, so that is uh, not going to be anything too, like, high scoring, but... Oh my gosh, a piebald raccoon dog. That is unreal. I never thought in a million years I would ever find a rare raccoon dog of any kind. That looks amazing. Piebald raccoon dog. Let's go. One of the times where shooting everything paid off. We just got ourselves probably the coolest Revontuli trophy I've killed in a very long time. That is super awesome. Look at how beautiful this thing looks. I didn't realize they were so cool looking. That is really awesome. That is super, super awesome. Well, I, I suppose that is going to uh, bring this to a close. Let's jump into the trophy lodge and find a place to put this cool little feller. Well, after a uh, bit of reorganizing of some of the mounts, I found a place to put this little piebald raccoon dog right on this little uh, small round platform right here across from one of our fox multi-mounts. And right below the three different piebalds that I've got right here, the two fox and the coyote. I think this is a good spot for him. And uh, once again, they look so nice compared to the regular raccoon dogs. I absolutely love the way they look. It stands out a little bit more than I expected it to. As some of the piebald patterns on certain species just don't show up that well. But it actually looks uh, pretty noticeable on the raccoon dog, which is really nice. Especially on the front end around those legs and the face, you can really tell that it's a piebald. Couple little stripes on the side as well, and the uh, tail is kind of more white, I believe, as well. So that's really cool. That is uh, the last thing I expected to find, just running around Revon Tuli Coast, just shooting everything in sight, and, well, it paid off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part was. Also, be sure to uh, leave a like if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel as well. We're pushing towards 100k subs and we're getting incredibly close. Closer by the day, all thanks to you guys. So with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.